All right, in the last video that I showed you, the first one to introduce unit 1.1, or sorry, 2.1, is we talked about density of elements and why certain elements are more dense than others and all that. Um, I used sodium potassium, and I was hoping that some people would catch that actually sodium is more dense than potassium. And the whole reason I would want to use that example is to set up the exception. So for the most part, the reason why elements are more dense than others is because they have more protons and more neutrons than the other. But there are exceptions to that. So the main idea of it is let's just look at sodium and potassium again. And let's just say I take a block of potassium and a block of sodium, all right? And one of the blocks, and I'm not telling you which one yet, but one of the blocks has the atoms that are a little smaller and they're close together. And the bigger atoms are more spread apart. So you can see that when you have bigger atoms, sometimes they're spread apart more and they won't be so connect they won't be so close together. So we're going to call this less dense because there is definitely less atoms. Um, the mass of the atoms might be in my, this atom might have more protons and neutrons, but it's bigger. So it's kind of like you weigh less than a boat, but a boat's weight is spread out a lot. So it, so it decreases its density. So when we spread out these atoms into a large area, it decreases its density. Well, here we have more dense because of how compact all the atoms are together. So this would be an example of something like sodium and this would be something like potassium. So the main idea is there's always exceptions to chemistry, not trying to get you down that road too much, but the idea is that it does happen and it's nice to know why. So just to go back, we have atoms that are maybe a little bigger and they're spread out more, making it less dense than the smaller atoms coming back, coming together. Uh, that just is an exception, but it doesn't uh, go bad. But it's still, I still want you to focus on uh, knowing that atoms are related, their density is related to two things, the protons and neutrons. That's the main thing that makes up the mass of an element, and that's what we're going to focus on. But in case you were wondering, there you go.